Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoth.com. In this video, I want to show you how to teach children about adding and subtracting like fractions. And like fractions means that the fractional parts are the same kind. In other words, the denominator is the same. For example, we would have 3 eighths and then add 4 eighths. And uh, so both of these fractions are, have eighths, the same number here. And this is a typical problem, that, like it might appear in a school book. Three eighths on a picture, four eighths on a picture. And uh, it is very easy. This is a very easy problem, an easy concept, because all you do is look at, okay, three slices, four slices. So when you add, you will get seven slices. And all of the slices are going to be eighths. Eight here, okay. Now, of course, the common mistake is to add eight plus eight equals 16. But children will be able to avoid that if they work enough with visual models. And that's why I have put here lots of problems with visual models. Now, let's say we have this kind of problem, 5 sixths plus 3 sixths. And instead of coloring 5 sixths in this picture and 3 in this, let's instruct the students to color the 5 sixths here. And then the three sixths continue coloring from here. You know, one, two, and three sixths are now colored. And now we can see the total. The answer is there's one, one whole pie, and two sixths. I like giving children problems that already involve mixed numbers, you know, from the start, and not just have addition problems where the answer is always a uh, proper fraction, less than one. Here's another one of those. Two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds. And we just color two thirds. The next two thirds, you know, a third from here and a third from here. And the last two thirds, like that. And so the answer is then two, two holes. Let's look at subtraction next. It is similar, easy. And uh, we can Solve it visually this way, 7 eighths minus 5 eighths, and the picture shows the starting point, 7 eighths, and then you take away 5 eighths, the child can cross out parts, maybe like this, those are taken away, and then what is left is 2 slices, and they are eighths. Okay, here's another one that already involves a mixed number, but we have a visual model here, so 1 and 1 fourth, and take away 3 fourths, that the child can then cross out these 3 fourths here, this, this and this, and so what is left is 2 fourths. So it is very easy. Now, we are going to also look at problems that involve the whole number 1, 2, 3 and so on, such as missing add -end problems. 4 ninths plus an add end is missing, a number is missing, equals 1. And it's a visual picture again to help the child to think 4 ninths is colored, how, many, how much more will he need to color to get the one whole pie? And the answer is obvious, of course, it is 5 ninths. And here in this picture, similarly, we have 1 and 2 fifths already colored and are asking how much more is needed to get 2. It is easily seen as 3 fifths. And as children work through these problems that have the visual models, they will eventually learn to have these pies in their mind, seeing these different kinds of pies. And then, when they come to the abstract problems, it will be easier for them. They can visualize them too. Subtract from 1, 2 or 3. So we have one whole pie, we subtract 3 twelfths. And the picture helps the child to see that we will have then you know, they can cross off those three, and nine slices are left, and they are twelfths. Or three, and then take away five sixths. Again, you can take those five slices away, and what is left is two whole pies and one sixth. And then they will be ready for these abstract problems and solve them. But, but tell the children to still think with the pies, you know, try to visualize the fractions in their minds, and not just apply a formula that, okay, you add this and that, and don't add that, you know, 
two sevenths and four sevenths. Okay, think that they are same kind of parts. So two slices and four slices, six slices, and they are still going to be sevenths. Or two tenths, and how much is missing from one whole? Is of course eight, because the one whole is divided into ten slices. Here we have three fourths and three fourths. Okay, here the child needs to visualize the three fourths as a pie, and then adding another three fourths to see that it's going to be one and two fourths. But I think they can. They they really can after they have worked enough with the visual models. And here, this is easy problem, 11 twelfths, take away 9 twelfths. Um, 11 slices minus 9 slices is 2 slices, and they are still 12 parts. Or, 2 whole pies take away a little fraction, so obviously there's going to be 1 whole pie left, and then the, the pie is divided into 10 parts, we take away 3 parts, so 7 slices are left of the second pie. And this one, one and one third, if you see the pie, one pie and then one third, and take away two thirds. You know, you take away the one third from the one pie and then one third from the other pie, and what is left is two thirds. 